general challenge with regards to achieving SDG 3 on the continent relates to several factors. One, we have not been able to motivate the necessary investments. Secondly, we've not been able to clearly articulate results and outputs from that sector outside indices that relate directly to health, like mortality and mobility indices. One of the things the health system and the health managers and leaders have not done so well is to speak the language that motivates the necessary investments from African policymakers. It's not just about health of the population, it's about the quality of the human capital necessary to drive development. So the point remains that when policymakers and stakeholders find it to be a priority, then we are able to harness our collective competencies to move towards the desired objectives. We need to start trying to reach out to other sectors that relate to the impact and the quality of the human capital, present our evidence in the way that is relevant to them. Achieving health or achieving the healthcare indicators or indices lies flatly outside the capacity of the health system and the natural players alone. We need to build the partnerships necessary to do so. The private health business always talks about the size and the potential of the African market, forgetting that the African market is locked in 55 different countries, with those of a population less than 200,000 to those of a population of over 200 million, with different regulatory systems, different um, processes and protocols. It's important that to unlock that potential, which is critical to deliver health outcomes, when African presidents sit and negotiate, they negotiate trade, they negotiate markets, they negotiate peace and security. Health is hardly ever part of that negotiation. Health is about the quality of the human capital necessary to drive development, not about people just feeling good. The message has to be clear, it has to be different, the strategy has to be different. That's what will move the needle.